afternoon. Uh, my name is Jan Robert Schutter from uh, Crypto Academy, and uh, I'm at the Day of the Crypto, Dag van de Crypto. And uh, today I'm interviewing Brian Conradi from Increment, a decentralized escrow solution. Welcome to this interview, and um, could you please uh, tell me something about your proposition? Sure, sure, sure. Thanks, Jan Robert. Well, uh, we are here in Amsterdam presenting Increment.io. We're originally from Austin, Texas, and uh, we are uh, trying to work uh, towards a better ecosystem for the uh, ICO marketplace. Okay, and, and what, what kind of, uh, what sense how are you doing this um, this solution? Well, we believe there's a fundamental flaw right now with uh, with ICOs. Um, that is, there's a lack of accountability. Um, right now, too many people are launching their ICOs. They have great promises. They're collecting their money, and the money goes straight to those people launching the ICOs. Um, there's no way to know whether or not those people are actually going to follow through on their promises. Okay. So we think the solution is escrow, decentralized escrow. That is, a portion of the funds should, of course, go to the ICO itself. But after that, uh, the remainder of those funds should go to escrow and be released uh, in tranches uh, according to whether uh, milestones are achieved. And what's really interesting about uh, blockchain and what you can do with escrow on the blockchain is that the achievement of those milestones can be determined not by some lawyer or banker, mm -hmm. but rather by the community of investors in the ICO. So they would vote to confirm whether a milestone's been achieved or not, and, uh, and that would result in the automatic release of the money, which is at its core what we're doing. Well, that's very unique, I think. And, um how about your uh, yeah, business model? How do you uh, get paid for it uh, afterwards? Sure. Well, there's two things we're doing. One okay. is, um, of course, we do charge our clients to use our escrow platform. Okay. Uh, we charge 1% of their ICO, and that's all paid on the back end after they've launched their ICO. So there's no upfront cost associated with what we're doing. Yes. We do have another revenue generating event, mm -hmm. and that is our own ICO. So we're issuing okay. our own tokens, and our tokens provide a 10% discount off of our clients' ICOs. And we've done that in order to create an attractive proposition for our clients so that they will come and use the escrow platform. Uh, and that is, in essence, done by, by virtue of having um, a pool of investors as our token holders that uh, our clients will be attracted to, uh, to access through our, through our platform. OK, it sounds very good. And uh, the 1% uh, fees uh, market conform, eh? Yeah, I believe so. It, yes. uh, we have uh, got a lot of uh, feedback from uh, uh, potential clients here in Amsterdam, and uh, we find that they're very well received. Uh, I think the clients like the idea of lowering the risk uh, required from their investors by using uh, escrow, and therefore increasing their investor pool uh, as a result of that. And of course, like I said, uh, they're, they're attracted to the ability to have access to um, our token holders who have discounts on ICOs. Uh, sounds very great. And uh, do you also uh, see some attraction uh, of um, parties uh, who are issuing ICOs with um, your service as um, at, at, at the background? There's also an advantage because um, when you do an ICO via escrow, it's also more in more interest of the investor. I, w I would suggest that is very positive. Right. When you make investors happy, you're more likely to have a successful ICO. Yes. So we think it's attractive to investors. It allows our, our clients to show their credibility. It allows them to make a, a less risky uh, environment for their investors. Um, so that's important. And um, mm -hmm. one thing we're particularly excited about is that we are able to uh, demonstrate our platform at the same time that uh, Vitalik Buterin, the architect of uh, Ethereum, has just announced his idea for the, the future of the ICO, and it overlaps in, uh, a lot with what we're doing. He's suggested the decentralized autonomous ICO, uh, which allows for investors to control the flow of money uh, to the ICO itself. So we're excited that we're overlapping with uh, one of the great uh, uh, minds behind uh, ICOs itself. Yeah, it's very good that you give a little bit more power to the investor because most of the ICOs you put money somewhere and you're not in control. And uh, I like the idea of uh, milestones very well for your uh, perspective. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we think the, the, the balance uh, between investors and issuers is, is not correct right now and mm -hmm. our platform is there to restore the balance so that uh, it's still a good environment for issuers and ICOs so they can still 
build all these great ideas that are being built, but we need to restore that balance so that there's a, a little bit of leverage and accountability to the to the uh, investors themselves, the backers. Yeah, great, great. And um, yeah, we'd like to uh, know more about it. And um, also um, in cooperation uh, with uh, Bitcoin Magazine, covering also the ICOs, and we definitely would like to, uh, in future, to uh, do other interviews as well. That's great, yeah. And um, catch up with uh, you, of course. And uh, after one month, 17th March, will be also an event. And um, would be happy uh, that we can give more follow-up uh, to that. I hope we can join. I'd love to come back to yes. the Netherlands. Um, okay. Uh, we're our number one goal right now is to build a community of people who believe in what we're doing. Okay. And uh, if we can do that uh, in large part here in the Netherlands, that would be great. Yes. Um, we're getting the word out in the United States. We've just been in London. Okay. Uh, great. So we're spreading the word and uh, and building that community is key to what we're doing. Yeah. So well, actually, with Crypto Academy and with Bitcoin Magazine, you've got uh, good exposure, of course, and also with Day of the Crypto, and we'll spread the word as well. And. Uh, we wish you very much uh, luck um, with your ICO. And when will it uh, be, uh, actually? So we're launching our ICO March 5th. Uh, we're closing our ICO April 15th, which is okay. the same time as uh, the launch of our platform. So in the coming days and weeks, we should be announcing some of the ICOs themselves that have uh, signed um, letters of intent to work with us. Okay, so great. you'll be able to see on our website uh, some actual uh, progress in terms mm -hmm. of uh, bringing people on board. And many of the people we've met here uh, will be some of those first um, first uh, ICOs that we announce as uh, early adopters. Okay, Brian, uh, keep us informed. Thank you very much for this interview. And uh, thanks for coming. Thank you, thank you. And have a much, uh, very much uh, fun in the Holland, of course. Yeah.